Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back to the 2020 NASCAR World Championship, hosted here on Gran Turismo Sport. Started back in 2018 on F1 2014 on the PlayStation 3 console. The Canadian Time Act won the championship that year. On to 2019, and we went to Gran Turismo Sport, PlayStation 4 console, where we saw Even Steven from the United States win the World Championship in grand fashion. Now, here in 2020, we have three races. One is in the history books. We saw Even Steven take home the checkered flag and the trophy at Spa. Tonight, Monza, round two of three. Bill Baldwin comes into this race needing to win. Eight points ahead of Even Steven, or perhaps even things up. JRB, Ty Mack, they could use a win as well. They need even Steven to have a bad race. Who's going to win here at Monza? Who will be the 2020 NASCAR World Champion? We'll find out. Both the former world champions are here, and they mean business. Join us, folks. The Monza Grand Prix, coming up next. Twelve drivers attempted to qualify their way into this one, and the top six based on speed advance, folks, Americans have taken the field strongly. Five American drivers, the lone Canadian Timax starts at the tail of the field. The 2018 World Champion starts in sixth, and the 2019 World Champion will start up front in the P1 position. The green lights are about to be displayed here at Monza, and there they are, they're rolling and going. The green flag is showing. Problems there, contact between Grey Wolf Shadow and Bill Baldwin. Bill slams into the back of Even Steven. They're both going to hit the reset button. Tymac is off into the gravel trap, and that was from contact from Crazy Legs. And Grey Wolf Shadow takes the lead in the Renault machine. What a wild start, and I've never seen a wild start like that. In a world championship event before, Grey Wolf Shadow takes the lead and goes into the turns four and five here. Slides a little bit, but nevertheless maintains his position. Crazy Legs is miraculously up into the second position, but he's being challenged now by even Steven. Steven's going to go by. JRB is going to do the same. Wow. And after all of this time act, the lone Canadian is bringing up the rear of the field, running in sixth, and let's see what he can do here. Crazy Legs was in second a moment ago and now drops back into the fifth position. What a wild, chaotic start, and it was Grey Wolf Shadow taking advantage and taking the lead, and as you saw there, he didn't take that last corner the greatest, and now Even Steven is on his way. Grey Wolf Shadow, he knows how quick Even Steven is. He knows he's the defending world champion. He knows he won at Spa, round one of the world championship here in 2020, and he's using every inch of this racetrack to try to get away from Even Steven, but I think he's using a little bit too much at times finding the gravel trap, finding the rumble strip. He's trying to get away from the draft from even Steven, but it's not going to matter, folks. Steven is there taking a look. He tucked back in line. He thought better of it. He stays in behind the Renault machine of Grey Wolf Shadow. But that's what the battle for the lead looks like, folks. It's the closest battle on the racetrack right now. Bill Baldwin still settled into third position. And Steven to the inside of Grey Wolf Shadow. And again, Grey Wolf Shadow outbreaks him getting into the turn. Tymac has worked his way around JRB. That was for the fourth position. We'll keep our eye on that battle, but the battle for the lead is, is really heating up. It hasn't really cooled down much. 
and he finds the gravel trap there. Great, great Wolf Shadow does. Even Steven made contact with him. And the Renault and the Renault machine of Grey Wolf Shadow is still the race leader. A couple of car lengths of an advantage now going into these couple of turns. Even Steven right there with them. And going down the second back straightaway here at Monza. The draft is able to be used. The draft is strong enough for drivers to use, especially if they're within about, I'd say, nine tenths of a second or maybe even a full second or a tiny bit more. Especially on these long straightaways, there's three long straightaways here at Monza for them to take advantage of. Even Steven, one of the masters here on Gran Turismo. 2019 Oscar GT Cup Series champion driving the GR3 cars. Put on a racing clinic that season. And Grey Wolf Shadow with a rough turn one. It's going to lose the lead to Even Steven. But yeah, I was just mentioning Even Steven. He is one of the masters on this game. He wins those sport mode races daily. The A class uh, driver rating drivers. And now he's going to get challenged again. Grey Wolf Shadow takes the lead back. In the very next passing zone, how about this action in round two of the 2020 World Championship? So they've traded the lead twice, and all within the same lap here. And maybe a third time, even Steven going to use the right side down the first of two back straightaways of the circuit. He finds the wall there. I believe he was trying to break the draft with the Renault machine of Grey Wolf, and Got a little bit out of shape and squirrely instead, and they both, I think, made minor contact with the outside wall. The lead gets traded back again, and even Steven takes the lead. Down the second of two, back straightaways now. Officials and fans looking on. Grey Wolf Shadow with a bold move to the inside, a power move. A little bit too hard and too strong of a move, though. He's going to have to lift for the remainder of the turn, and he does. Even Steven takes the lead back. Five swappages of the race lead, all within one lap, folks. Even Steven now the leader going into turn one and two. We've seen both of these drivers um, not perfectly execute that first chicane in this race at least once, and both drivers made it clean and clean, uh, clean and clear through that section of the track this time by. And the swing right-hander and then another one. The battle for the lead has settled down just a little bit. Bill Baldwin runs in third in the McLaren. Mimac in the Red Bull machine. Running in fourth, but he's got a challenger, and that's JRB. JRB, no NASCAR championships yet in his career, but he's got wins in the NASCAR GT Cup Series and the NASCAR Super GT Series. Having GR3 and GR1 cars, he would love to put a tally in the win column for the NASCAR World Championship with these super formula cars, I'm sure. Crazy Legs runs in sixth. Former NASCAR Street Tech Series race winner on GTA 5 and open to find victory lane on the NASCAR Heat video games as well. He runs full-time in the NASCAR Tailgate Truck Series on Tuesdays and finds the gravel trap over there in turn one and he's losing ground to the top five. You can turn it around here. It's got a lot of time to do so. Speaking of the NASCAR Heat games, no NASCAR championships for Ty Mack on the Gran Turismo Sport game. However, he is the 2020 NASCAR Legend Series champion over on NASCAR Heat 4. He knows how to win NASCAR championships. And he's got one NASCAR win on Gran Turismo, and that was at Blue Moon Bay Speedway back in the 2019 NASCAR GT Cup Series season. Great strategy in his Nissan GTR, and he was able to finish 1-2 with his teammate at the time. And no NASCAR World Championship wins for Timax since the 2018 season, when he won seven of those on F1 2014. Looking to change that here in 2020. Finished third in the final standings last year in this series. He's having a heck of a time running down the top two. Over 100 drivers from 10 countries entered the NASCAR World Championship in 2019, and it was even Steven representing the United States 
winning the championship that year. Ben OJ, head of Canada, finishing in second in the final standings, and Ty Mack, 2018 world champ, finishing third in the final standings out of Canada. Both world champions are here in this event, and both are running uh, rather well, actually, especially even Steven, who's leading this race. Ty Mack now running in the third position. And I didn't see exactly why or what started that. And we're getting a report that it was Grey Wolf Shadow in the Renault machine. And yes, going in through turn one and two, problems again for him. We've seen him have an issue there twice now today. And we were waiting for it. Bill Baldwin clears him for the second position. And Grey Wolf Shadow, you're going to see it, disappears off your screen. And he's going to retire and park his car for the remainder of the race. This will actually move Tymac, the lone Canadian, up into third position, third and final podium spot. JRB will now be scored in the fourth position, and when Crazy Legs comes all the way around to complete a lap, he will be in fifth. been a lot of fun watching Bill Baldwin race over the years. He's won the 2019 NASCAR Super GT Series Championship, finished runner-up in the 2019 GT Cup Series to even Steven. Those two drivers have finished 1-2 to each other so many times in so many different races and in the final standings of multiple different series as well. They know each other really well. It's kind of a, become a friendly rivalry here in NASCAR, even Steven and Bill Baldwin. We're going to keep our eye on the lap times, and it actually kind of looks like Tymac is closing in just a little bit on Bill Baldwin. That would be the battle for second and third between those two. And much like even Steven, Bill Baldwin enters the sport mode races quite often here in Gran Turismo Sport and wins them uh, very, very frequently. Uh, with an A driver rating and safety rating of an S+, plus, he knows exactly what he's doing here on Gran Turismo Sport. A little bit off course there for the Valvoline number 12 Honda of JRB. He's still scored in the fourth position, but because of that last incident, He's, uh, he's lost quite a bit of time now to the driver from second and third. He was actually keeping a good pace with both Bill Baldwin and Ty Mack before that most recent incident there, the most recent error to JRB. There you see the gap between Bill Baldwin and Ty Mack. There goes Bill and there goes Ty. The field is really spread out here and word has it that for the final round of the season over at the Red Bull Ring. We are going to have more cars on the racetrack for the event. I believe that they are telling us we'll have 11, uh, 9 to 11 drivers entering the final event. The 2020 NASCAR World Championship is a three race event here on Gran Turismo Sport Drive and the Super Formula cars with no custom tuning. So it's all about the driver talent. Who's going to crown the world champion? Coming into this event, Bill Baldwin knew that he needed to, to even things up with even Steven. And he knew that he needed to win the race and, and gain some points back that he lost in round one over at Spa. Of course, even Steven won round one of the NASCAR World Championship this year at Spa. You can watch that on the NASCAR Series Racing YouTube channel. So coming into this one, Bill knew that he needed to win. And most importantly, he needed to finish better than even Steven. Gain some points back and make this a bit of a discussion going into the final round of the Red Bull Ring.
really like in the Red Bull car, the time act has brought for the 2020 NASCAR World Championship. With a classic uh, bit of an alternate look too. It's not necessarily the normal uh, paint job that they roll with these days. A little bit darker than this one. Making it look good. Also drove a Red Bull car back in the 2018 NASCAR World Championship, and that is when he won it. So hoping to bring back some good luck and some good memories while he's out there on the course, running in third and looking to stand on the podium alongside two very respected NASCAR drivers on the Gran Turismo Sport game. And that is Bill Baldwin in second and even Steven running in the lead. That's what the battle for the lead looks like. I'd say about the distance from when you exit the final turn to the start finish line so the draft is not able to be utilized by Bill at this time. Even Steven with a problem going into turn one he overdrives it, locked the brakes up and he just kept going straight and now Bill Baldwin is right there behind even Steven. There you see the gap it's no more than than six or seven car lengths at this time. The draft is definitely able to be utilized by Bill at this point and even Steven's got a challenger. And he knows them very well. These two have finished 1-2 to each other in both orders, both different ways, so many different times. And Bill Baldwin in the McLaren run him down before the end of this one. Well, the lead is definitely um, sparked up a little bit between these two, and it's going to be interesting to watch and see if he can capitalize on the big mistake by even Steven. Steven does not make very many of those, and this is exactly the opportunity that Bill Baldwin needed if he wants to gain points back on even Steven. He needs to beat Steven and finish ahead of him in order to make this an interesting race for the final round of the World Championship. He's got his work cut out for him if he finishes second to Steven yet again here in Monza. No bonus point for qualifying on the pole, no bonus point for the fastest race lap, which is two things we normally see for the NASCAR GT Cup Series and the NASCAR Super GT Series, so it's a little bit of a different ball game here. If, if Bill can finish in first and if Steven finishes in second instead, they would be in a deadlock tie going into the final round of the 2020 NASCAR World Championship, but if they finish where they are right now, it would be a six-point gap that Bill needs to, to make up on Steven in the final race if he wants to be the world champion. You know, a six-point gap would not be an easy easy task whatsoever. He would need to win the final race, and Steven would need to finish in fourth in order for that to happen, and then Bill would be your champion by a single point. Even if Steven were to finish third, Steven would be your champion by a single point. So it, it, it's going to come down to this race. This race, this finish is going to be the most critical for Bill going into the last one, going into going into the championship event, if you will, at the Red Bull ring, because this is going to decide where he stands and how good his chances are. He's right there. The last lap, he lost a little bit of ground to even Steven. This time by... This time by, he was a little bit quicker, two-tenths of a second. Turn one and two now. We've seen a lot of drivers have issues over there in this corner, trying to break as late as possible and get as much speed through that tight section as they can. And we've even seen drivers have problems over here in this other area where there's a couple of gravel traps waiting for them on both sides. And it's the second challenging area of the racetrack. Steven goes through and even Bill Baldwin finds the, the gravel trap with his left side tires. And when Bill Baldwin of all drivers is is making a mistake once in a while. You can tell that the challenge is, is there, folks. These are very fast, very light, agile cars. The grip and acceleration is through the roof with these super formula cars on Gran Turismo Sport. The corners come up fast. The braking points are not easy to execute perfectly every lap. And these drivers are, are having a tough time at times here in Monza. 
And we expect to see that at the Red Bull ring as well. A little bit deeper into the race, Tymac running in third, losing ground to the top two. Bill Baldwin in second, losing ground to the leader as well. We'll get back up there in just a moment. There's Tymac in the Red Bull machine. He's fading just a bit later in this race. In fact, he's fading back into the clutches of JRB just a little bit. JRB driving the number 12 Valvoline Honda, looking pretty good in this one. And he's looking good enough to perhaps challenge Tymac for the final spot on the podium. He's not too far behind him. Crazy Legs running in fifth and has not had the speed in this race that he was hoping for, but he qualified his way into the show. Twelve drivers attempted to qualify from four different countries, and Crazy Legs was able to take one of the final spots into the into the event here at Monza. And I say good on him. Going through turn three there. Back up a little bit closer to the front, it's even Steven leading the way, Bill Baldwin running in second, and that's what the gap looks like. It's closer now to a full straightaway rather than just a, about seven or eight car lengths like we saw just a little bit ago, a little while ago. Steven knows all about winning, folks, especially in NASCAR. Most all-time NASCAR GT Cup Series wins. Second most all-time NASCAR Super GT Series wins. And he's got one win here in the NASCAR World Championship, and that was the very first race of this season. Came to you at Spa. That race is available to you on the NASCAR Series Racing YouTube channel. Kind of cruising away slowly from Bill Baldwin at this point. The gap is increasing. And he's even hitting his marks and he's being smooth and he knows what's at stake here. He knows that if he can just hold on, even if he can just run a, even within the same pace as Bill at this point, then he would be the winner here at Monza. He's going to just, I'm assuming he's just going to take his time and kind of take the corners wise at this point. No need to push the envelope for even Steven at this point, especially when he's got the lead that he has. And problems for the leader. Even Steven is off the course. This is after turn one and two. This is over in turn three. The long swinging right-hander. Not necessarily a challenging section of the of the course, but he's, he was off the course. He's lost a ton of ground now to, to Bill Baldwin. Crazy Legs was right behind him when this all occurred. And the battle for the lead is on, folks. Even Steven and Bill Baldwin are going to slug it out one more time. They're on the final lap here at Monza. And what a time for even Steven to have an error. Bill Baldwin has closed it up now just within a half a second of him. Just a couple of car lengths that he's going to have an opportunity down. Two long straightaways to maybe draft with even Steven. Two and a half straightaways if you include the final stretch. One is done now. Steven going through this section of the racetrack. He knows he's under fire. He knows Bill is there. He's got to hit his marks and be smooth. He just went off course a little bit there. And a penalty at this point would burn both drivers. Even a half a second of a penalty with Steven right now. Bill would be close enough to take the win away. And Steven, through the final turn, for the final time, left sides up on the rumble strip and all. And coming down the front straightaway at Monza, even Steven is going to win round two of the 2020 NASCAR World Championship in a drag race with his friendly rival, Bill Baldwin. These two will finish 1-2 yet again in a NASCAR race. They've done it in three different NASCAR series on Gran Turismo Sport, trading the 1-2 spots back and forth numerous amounts of times. And today was no different, and it was even Steven winning the race.
Bill Baldwin finishes in second. Ty Mac will finish in third. JRB will finish in fourth. Crazy Legs will round out the top five again. 12 drivers attempted to qualify their way into this race. Six drivers advanced, and the results are as stands. Even Steven claims round two. Bill Baldwin has a six point deficit that he needs to close heading into the final round at the Red Bull Ring. Thank you very much for joining us, and we hope that everybody stays safe and healthy out there. Good night, everybody.